UAE just held their logistics briefing. Um, it sounds like uh, they're taking on board a lot of suggestions um, from different folks. Uh, also, they're using a site that already exists, so that's really nice, I think, for them, and also hopefully won't mean that they're building a whole bunch uh, more things, so it's a bit more sustainable, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. There's a lot of people who are going to be coming with a lot of different expectations. It's still a little bit unclear. Uh, there are some questions around civil society um, that are still uh, being asked, but but we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited. I think that we are going to have a nice uh, participation in the next COP as well. And I think that we, we need to move forward in loss and damage and you need to take account all disasters and the fundings for that because it's really urgent and we cannot wait uh, the political and geopolitical uh, step that used to be less uh, fast as we'd like to do to have and uh, to attack this problem in a direct way. I think that we all should, should have more effort to do. I think that we have uh, the needs and uh, the, the, the obligation to go first and the Brazilian delegation uh, looked forward to that. So I'm trying to, to move and uh, go forward as fast as we want. Uh, preparation to the next cup is going on. The last cup's great news was the loss and damage agreement, which was a fantastic news. Now comes the time to really put this into uh, into enforcement and uh, comes the time for uh, uh, real ways to operate put on the table I mean promises are here and have been here and that's a great success in the Paris uh, strategy now comes the, the time for real action <laughs> التزام كبير دولة الإمارات بأنه يكون عندنا كوب مجهز على أعلى مستوى